Hello, hi. Once again, this is your brother in Christ, and I want to share something with you quickly. I won't hold you today very long, but it's some very important, very urgent, and I want to share this with you. And it is found in the uh, it, in the uh, book of Isaiah, um, Isaiah one and eighteen, and this is the word. It says, "Come now, let us reason together," said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. Now remember, the first thing he said, come now. Very important to come now. And let us reason together. That means come and weigh the situation. Let us contemplate your situation. And that's what he's saying. Though your sins is very black and dirty, scarlet. He said, I will forgive you and wash you. So come, he says, come now. Isaiah 1, 18, come now. First thing, come now. Let us reason. I give you and offer you forgiveness. I offer you eternal life. Come now. That's what he says. So, if you're wise and your heart is tugging at you and you said, I feel I've done things that are not right before God, and you know, you know what it is that you've done and what you're feeling bad about, but you hide from the world. But in your heart, you know things that you've done that you can't take back, you can't change. And you feel, so you try to push them out of your mind. But they're way deep down, still there. And God knows they're there. But he said, let us reason. If you come to me, I will forgive you of that. I will wipe it away. Even though it's like crimson, even though it's dirty, even though it's black, even though you've done something horrible. He said, come to me. I will forgive you. And I will wipe it away. It'll be clean, wiped from darkness, crimson, which was ugly. Whatever it was that you've done that's on your heart, many things that you've done. Jesus is offering you redemption. Found in the Old Testament. He said, come, and I will wash you. That's what he said. So, come. Let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. That's an offer. That is an offer for anyone who wants to have eternal life. Come. He's offering you not only forgiveness and washing, but he's offering you eternal life. That is <laughs> that is a deal there. That is a great bargain. Because it don't cost you nothing, but it costs him everything. Oh, it costs him a lot. It costs the Father. It costs Jesus for you suffered beaten blood yes blood everywhere all over pitifully the way they treated Jesus and he went through this because it was the only way to save you the only way that he could forgive you only way because he has the Father, is there any other way? But he said, nevertheless, not my will. So he surrendered unto the Father, Father totally. Not my will, Jesus said, but your will be done. So, the bond. Did you see you right in the center of this conversation? Between the Father and the Son, you were in the center? Because it was about you. Saving you. That's what this conversation was about in the garden before he went there. Because he knew what was going to take place. He didn't have to. But the conversation is about you, your forgiveness. And now he's offering it to you. He said, I know you have sinned. This is a, he said, let us reason this out. You have sinned, but if you come to me, I will forgive you and wash you. So that's what he's offering. 
for total forgiveness. So, now I'm not going to haul you this day. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not here to waste your time. But I'm here to give you some vital information for your life, for your soul, for your spirit. Found in Isaiah 1 and 18. You look that up. Reason. Consider. I mean, consider. That means weigh the balance. Reason in this situation. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose out there in the world? You got all the gain if you come to him. So let me just say a real prayer for you real quickly. And this is the prayer I want you to say. You don't have to be exactly the same. But this is what I want you to say. You want to say, Lord Jesus, praise be unto your name. I don't understand it all, but I know that I have done wrong. I have done wrong before you, and I've done wrong before man. And I ask for your forgiveness. I ask you to change me. I ask you to come in and help me. I've made a mess. I've done many things that I should not have done. Forgive me. Help me, Lord God. Help me to give my life to you totally. I surrender. Help me surrender all and walk the walk, Father, for I know that is the right way. Help me, Jesus Christ. I pray for your forgiveness. I ask you into my heart, into this life, and change me from the inside. Father, this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Very, very simple. Very, very simple prayer. It's the meaning behind the prayer that saves. The touching of the heart and soul. Anybody can recite the words, but it's the meaning of the soul because the Lord is... He judges the contents of the heart. So if your heart is yearning to be changed and to be helped, he said, that's what I'm here for. That's what I've been waiting on you for. So step up to the plate. Just step up to the plate. And confess and follow me. Then you'll find the glory of the Father who the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of the Holy Spirit. All right, then. That's about it for this session. I will be back tomorrow. And I know this is pretty short today. But that's all I got for right now. I'm going to ask the Lord to show me others. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow, God willing. Bye-bye.